hi! How's everybody doing? Um, so sorry I'm a few minutes late. Does anyone else feel like time is just going way too fast? It's like it's super crazy um, just trying to you know, get everything done. But I'm here. Uh, this is Lindsay for So Fancy. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, we're going to be doing a really fun vinyl um, monogram uh, decal. And um, it's kind of a lot to go over. Um, just because I'm so long-winded with my explanations. I like to be really detailed. Um, but um, So I'm just going to start into it, and then I'll kind of like explain um, as I go along. And of course, if you have any questions, please let me know. And um, you know, say hi, let me know you're there, where you're uh, um, watching from, and maybe what the weather's like. Because here in Northern California, it's hot, and it's really smoky, and so I've just been indoors like for, for too many days in a row. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and then last night, um, let me see which way is it, this way, that way, <laughs> my husband, he was like, see that, that's the HTV that used to be up on the wall, <laughs> he said, um, it scared me last night because it fell down, so those are the Ikea holder, uh, plastic bag holders, <laughs> and um, <laughs> um, the, the, and he said from just, kind of like fell off, so, <laughs> um, he was, um, kind of startled by that, so I need to, sorry, <laughs> I still need to, uh, put it back up, um, I'll get there, okay, so let's actually switch to this view here, um, so this is the monogram that we're going to be doing, and it actually, you know, it looks like a lot, but, um, when you break it down, um, it's actually not so bad. So, um, let me just make sure I've got comments here. Sorry. Give me just a second. up here. All right, so this is what um, we're going to be doing, and can everyone hear me? Um, fine. Um, and I use, so of course you can simplify this a lot if you want. I decided to use both matte and glossy vinyl for this, just because I thought it would be fun to make the crayon part glossy and this part matte. It's kind of hard to pick up on camera, but um, in real life I think it looks pretty cool. Um, I think I would have done the letters in black, um, but I chose gray. So anyway, we're going to cut out the rest of the pieces. I've already got some of it um, cut out here. And so what I did to keep myself organized is I cut out all these pieces. Um, of vinyl. This is um, 651 and 631, which is um, removable vinyl, but I've found that it, it works fine um, sticking, you know, to various things um, without removing. So, uh, but I guess if I wanted to remove it, then I would. Um, so I cut a bunch of um, just little scraps of vinyl so I can load more than one onto the mat. So for like this one, I can put it up here. Um, this, this red piece we can put in this corner here. And this way I can cut as much as possible. This yellow piece, let's go ahead and put it on this side of the mat, but we'll put it at um, six inches. And then this um, um, matte yellow, we'll put it at seven over on this side. And then we'll do seven and six. Gosh, I got so many things going on. But once you line it, once you put them all onto your mat, then um, it all kind of makes sense. And it, and it makes things go so much faster. 
Okay, so I'm going to cut this down a little bit. Here. Okay, so the monogram that I'm using comes from the Must Have Monogram Bundle. It's this crayon, um, which I thought would be fun, like, for, like, school-themed type of thing. So I got these, uh folders and this pocket or this pencil pocket. Um, this is at three and seven. Um, I got these at the Dollar Tree. All right, so I've got my like cornucopia of vinyl here on my mat. And so now I'm going to go into um, Cricut or um, into Silhouette so Studio and align where I want to cut everything. So let's go to screen display. There we go. Okay, so um, I'm also using um, registration marks. So what I did is I imported the design. Um, this is so adorable. I think it's so cute. Um, and then for the font, so the actual um, monogram itself is just this crayon and then you fill it in with your own font, you know, or your own lettering. Um, and this uh, font is actually, I think I can double click into it and go into my text style. It's Mixy Missy and this is from the Craft font Fonts Bundle. It's really cool. It comes with, um, here I'll show you, um, this one font, Mixy Missy, under this arrow here, um, comes with a dot, drop, fire, inline, outline, regular, rope, sand, shadow. It's got so many um, different styles to it. Um, it's really cool. And that's just one font as part of the bundle. So I thought that was pretty cool. But and anyway, um, to line up this decal with all the multiple pieces I'm doing, I'm using registration marks. And so you do, I've done that by just drawing squares at the top here. And I decided to do four at the top. And what I wanted to show you is that this, these registration marks are not exclusive to um, Silhouette Studio. So I'm using Silhouette Studio, but if you're using Canvas Workspace um, with your scan and cut, you know, you would do the same thing. You know, you would just go into your shapes, oops, and you would draw your little squares. It's a little bit different, um, so obviously we don't want that registration mark that big, um, but then you would draw your squares that way. Same with um, Cricut Design Space. Shapes, square, um, and, you know, resize it and put those in there. So, you can make the registration marks in any program. Then what you want to do is separate the different pieces with the registration marks. So, I am going to select this black part and then uh, all four of these registration marks, and I'm actually going to um, copy it, and then I'm going to paste it over to the side, or it's going to paste right here, which is fine. I'll pull that over here, and I will group that together. So that's going to be one cut out of the gray vinyl. Now, I've already done this piece, so I can actually just delete it here, and then I can go into the purple and then select this and the reason I make a copy of it and move it to the side is it because if I just moved it over here and grouped it together now I don't have a registration mark for these other pieces that need it so um, I just make a copy group that together and then I delete it from here so I know that I've already done that. And so you would do that for each of the pieces. And so I have those, I've done multiple, <laughs> out 
Um, and then you'd arrange those on your mat, so, or on your mat. So, let's see, we put the, oh, actually, I have to cut this one, because this is the one that lines up with all of them. So, this one, remember, on our mat, when we stuck down all the vinyl, we put these in specific places. This one was at six, right there. Um, this mat, yellow, was at seven. I'm looking at my mat and aligning it to where I put the vinyl. Um, this purple mat, I put at three, three and seven, so right here, and move it down just a little bit, and then this glossy purple I put at six and seven. Sorry, I'll check comments in just a second, I want to get this cutting um, so that um, we can get started with the project. Okay, so I've got that all lined up here. That should work. <laughs> um, let's go to send. Um, I'm going to um, use vinyl glossy, and then I um, need to load my mat. So let's just go ahead and put that in there. Oops. And then I am going to actually change this to 24. I think I've been having better luck with that. And then we'll go ahead and send it. And then we can go back to this view here. So here are all the other pieces that I've already cut out. You see I have the... Well, I guess I didn't need a red, huh? Well, it's okay, I have an, an extra one for another project. Alright, so I've got all these projects, or all these cuts here. That is going, um, let me go ahead and switch to here. So I can tell you about some of the specials we have. Um, so this month, of course, um, we've got another giveaway going. So purchase any bundle. So purchase the monogram bundle or the um, must-have crafts bundle um, during September, any of our bundles. Um, and you get entered to win a teal heat press. Um, so, um, you know, that's always fun. Um, and then also today is the last day for our buy one, get one mini bundle sale. So, uh, buy one mini bundle, um, which I have um, linked. You want to look, use the link in the description so it will take you to the right page. And you put one of those in your cart, put the one, another one in your cart. And then um, you use the code MINIBOGO and you get one of them for free. And then, of course, because you bought a bundle, you get entered to win the heat press as well. Okay, so it looks like this turned out pretty well. Um, so let's go ahead and just do a little test weave here. Make sure we won't have any problems. And that came up really easily. Oops. So we should be fine. And I'm just going to put this over to the side. And then we can go ahead. I'm going to trim this down a little bit. I decided to mix it up, mix and match the vinyl that I'm using for this decal. I'm using both glossy and matte vinyl. And what I'm using is 651, which is a glossy permanent vinyl, and 631, which is a matte removable vinyl. 
Um, but there's also a 641, which is matte permanent vinyl, um, which I have not had the pleasure of using. Um, I'm sure it works, you know, very similarly to Oracle's other vinyls. Um, so I would have to try that out to let you know what I think. But um, I've always been happy with 631. It cut really well. And then I can just weed this out. Voila. Very, very good. That's why I always do that test weed before I um, take it out of the machine. Uh, because then I know we're not going to have any problems. And I actually didn't need this piece. Um, but I did need a yellow, purple, two purples. I have a um, purple matte and purple glossy. And then the yellow glossy. All right. So now the fun begins. <laughs> are you having fun yet? <laughs> um, we are going to start this layering process. So we're going to need some transfer tape. And then I like to also work on a piece of parchment paper. So, um, let me see. I have this piece here that I can use. And that way, um, if anything sticks below my work surface, um, you know, it's going to lift off easily from the parchment paper. Um, not so much off of my um, workspace. Oh, here's my transfer tape. And I'm going to pick a piece that about like that and cut off a piece. And I'm going to make it a little bit bigger than there. So I'll just cut the, I'll just cut this down the middle. If you're just joining us, we are doing a multicolor, multi-layered monogram with the must-have monogram bundle. That's this crayon design. And then the font I used is from the um, Massive Craft Fonts bundle. Okay, so you know, when you um, start with final layering, you start with the piece that's on top. So that is this um, gray piece because that they lay on top of these pieces here. So... I'm going to go ahead and get out my scraper and put that right on here. And push this along. Just like that, burnish it really well. And I've been asked about this scraper before, so I linked to it in the description. because it is one of my favorites. Oh, and I've also linked to any of you excited about, have you heard that the Cameo 4 Pro, the big guy, the big one, the 20 inch, um, should be available for pre-orders in October. So, you know, it was supposed to be, what, May, and then, you know, discuss, got, get, kept, get, kept, getting pushed back and back, and so now I think we finally have a date for um, pre-orders. So you can sign up to be notified um, through your email um, in the link 
in the description. So you can be one of the first to be notified when you can start pre-ordering the Cameo 4 Pro. Okay, so then I'm lining up the registration mark, pressing that down, and then I can go ahead and put that down. All right, and then I do that for the next piece. Oopsie, pull off, pull off the backing, of course. And then I need to line it up. One of the things that I found with this is that you have to remember which registration mark to line it up with um, to get it in the right place that you want it to be. So I put this this um, extra piece over the top so I can line this up first, and it won't all just come tumbling down straight on my project when I before I'm ready. Oops, and it's looks like it's a little no, that's good, that's good. There we go. Oops, it's a little off there, but that's fine. Then I'll do the blue. I like to work systematically like this. That's why I have them all cut out, ready to go. And then I can just kind of assembly line this. Because, you know, it takes a little bit of time. So if you are making this, for a customer, you know, you're going to charge accordingly for your time because not only, you know, does it take more time, you're also using different kinds of vinyl. There we go. Then I can peel that up. Oops. All right, next is the green. I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter, right? I could do any order I want. All right, let's line that up there. There we go. See, no, I did the wrong one. I almost, yeah, I almost lined it up with the wrong one, but I caught myself. I thought about maybe for something like this using different shapes for the different registration marks. Um, oops, came off. That's not supposed to happen. Um, different shapes for the registration marks. So, um, I wouldn't do that. <laughs> Alright, and then the last one is the red. Which, the red I made, um, they kind of share this registration mark. There we go. Okay. Peel that up there. Alright, then we are going to move to the crayon part. And just to be safe, I'll put that there. Line that up. There we 
There we go. I thought this was so fun. Lots of colors. That's kind of my style. I love that. Uh, then the yellow. Line that one up here. Just have to make sure I line it up with the right registration mark. And pull off the uh, vinyl backing. I've always found it's easier to pull the vinyl backing off the uh, back of the vinyl than it is the other way around, pulling the transfer tape. Up with the vinyl. I've always just had much better luck. that way so like instead of peeling peeling up the vinyl like this I've just always had better luck when I flip it over and do it do it like that and then green we'll put that but the green kind of got a little wonky And that's only because <laughs> someone's watching me while I'm doing this. Because <laughs> this one turned out really good. Here we go. Line that up there. Yeah, so the green turned out a little weird. So... Green, we're just going to have to eyeball it because I think I accidentally moved the registration mark. So, for that little part, I'm just going to have to do that, which that is fine. And pull that up. And then the last piece, our red, I'll line that up. decal and then um, sometimes I forget this part is actually removing the um, registration marks <laughs> um, want to take those off so you don't put them on your project unless that's the look you're going for and that's what you want so I just use a pair of tweezers Let's lift those up and then we can put it on our um, actual project. So let's go ahead and do it on this folder. And I kind of want it in the same spot as that. So if I flipped it over from my binder, let's just put it kind of like right there. And I'm totally just eyeballing this. I am not measuring at all. If you wanted to measure, then you'd probably get it a little bit straighter. But I think I'm good with, I think I'm good with this. Yeah. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is press this down and burnish it. And it looks kind of weird. Maybe I should have centered it. I just, I don't know, I just had this idea of like me flipping through my notebook and it would be on the same page. Well, you know, 
Now I know. I think I want it more centered. But that's okay. Garnish it really well. And then remove the transfer tape. Oh, this is a lot of fun. I really like this one. This one's really cute with the crayons. <laughs> oh, okay. So there we go. We've got, um, it's not centered in, on the folder, but when I'm flipping through my binder, it'll be in the same spot. So anyway, um, but there you go. There's your layered decal. Um, um, this is the one I made earlier, and I just did the same thing using permanent and removable vinyl. It's definitely um, a little bit more noticeable in person, um, but I think it turned out great nonetheless. Um, monogram using the must-have monogram bundle, and the font in the middle is um, Massive Craft Fonts Bundle. So <laughs> Massive Craft Fonts, must have a uh, monogram, um, lots of bundles, um, lots of good stuff. Um, remember, when you do purchase a bundle um, from Sofonsi during September, you get entered into Win the Heat Press. Um, and then today is the last day for the uh, BOGO sale. So buy one, get one, mini, Sofonsi mini bundles. Um, and so you want to use the link in the description um, to check those out. And then um, also, uh, if you have any questions, just let us know. And, um, of course, we're so happy that you're here and that you're watching. And we hope that you have a fabulous day. Thanks so much. Bye.